Hey, what's up? I'm Austin Griffith. I've had a lot of questions leading up to all these conferences about how collectibles work in the Burner Wallet. So, uh, first of all, Burner Wallet sends XDAI uh, quick. You can s bridge out to ETH and DAI. Uh, but we also have ERC721s in a wallet. That's these guys here. Uh, they are uh, they can link out to external websites. So this is like an oil painting of mine, and it links out to my website. Uh, so like sponsors or whatever, right? You could drop tokens and then those could link to something. But uh, another thing that we can do is I uh, print, like I've got my artwork on these like divided pages and then I can kind of like quickly print those and then they kind of show up in these little cards. And what's cool is the cards then have a private key on the back. So it allows me to distribute these really easily. So let's see. Uh, I'm just going to scan this with my phone's camera. Okay, phone's camera. Scanning QR code. It brings up, uh, basically it's going to bring up the burner wallet and it's going to be, um, if if the wallet only contains just the uh, the token itself, then it kind of highlights it, right? It just shows just the coin. And this, I'll show you, this is kind of a, ooh, that's rad coin. Okay, so uh, now someone else could say, uh, have that popped up and I could just quickly hit the send button. Then I get the camera, I point it at that. It's like, hey, you wanna send that dude that lobster? And I'm like, yeah, I wanna send that dude that lobster. And then if we go look over here, we'll see that lobster show up on this dude's. And since it's the only one, it's highlighted. So that's how collectibles can be sent around very easily. The point is someone can quickly be onboarded with a card. They sort of have this, physical ownership but it also kind of links them to some sort of digital ownership and gives them the ability to send that thing quickly okay so there's there's erc 721s we could mint them for you reach out let me know uh we can get them in burner wallets we can get them on cards so they're easy to pass around but also uh i wanted to show the badge dropper this was built uh by intern eduardo uh props and he uh, set it up so it's like a Linux executable. Uh, you can run it on a Mac, laptop, any sponsor. Imagine this could be at a sponsor's desk or even, ooh, double me vision. And so I've minted some DAOG coins here for uh, the DAOG, but, uh, and it just links to the DAOG website. So let's just say someone uh, happens to have their burner wallet out and they come along just this video screen could be popped up and if you just show it your thing it's like boom badge was successfully dropped and if we look here we should see a badge show up for this dude boom look at that now I got a dog badge oh that's rad oh yeah so basically you can set up these badge droppers around some event or at a sponsor's booth and it'll just watch for people to flash their uh, burner wallet and drop them uh, a badge, right? And so what you do is you just kind of set up an account, you mint a bunch to it, and then it drops it. So another thing you can add to that is to have some kind of like easy, cheap Linux machine, right? So we've got these like compute sticks with like a little screen and a little camera, and you could kind of like have them at events just like set up like whether it's like a scavenger hunt or you're just trying to drop collectibles to people, you could easily set it up where these things are just sitting there watching and someone just walks up and flashes their, their uh, either either like some kind of paper wallet that they could flash to collect or they could uh, flash you know their burner wallet and then that would just drop there automatically and then you could even have it set up so like you have to collect a certain amount and win a certain amount and all sorts of fun things that you can do uh, with this. So check it out. Uh, ERC twenty one ERC seven twenty ones in the burner wallet. Um, thanks for checking it out. Uh, hit me up if you have any questions. Uh, the the one thing that would be cool is if we could maybe mint them or bridge them across to mainnet, right? So like so like you use them at the event, you're sending them around, everyone's having fun collecting, blah blah blah. But then like as you leave the event, you can like bridge them to mainnet so they're not on X die forever. So we'll have to figure out some kind of like NFT bridge on on. Xdive, but I'm sure it's in the works. Uh, thank you.